Hoi, you're watching Bricklex and this is LEGO Set 60265 Ocean Exploration Base. It's a LEGO City set from 2020. Comes with five minifigures, quite large exploration base, a hammerhead shark, a stingray, a small submarine and a lot of little small pieces like these coral pieces and a bottle but I will show you that later. First minifigure in this set is this diver and he has quite a nice helmet with a with a translucent visor and I think these two pieces are also translucent. He has this friendly face print and we saw that before in Lego City set. He has this nice printed torso with a lot of diving gear and also some prints on his legs he has a small torch or something like that and if we turn him around you can see there's no second face print but he does have these white oxygen tanks and if we remove those as well you can see that there's also quite a lot of printing on the back of this torso. Oh, and by the way, he's wearing red flippers. Then the second minifigure wears the exact same outfit, but this time it's a girl. Then there is this third diver and he has an orange suit and a blue helmet with also a translucent light blue visor. And this is quite a big helmet with also some Technic pin connections. But I think in his case, this is also an oxygen tank. And if we remove the helmet, you can see that he has some printing on his legs and torso. And I think without the helmet, he could also be a construction worker or something like that or someone who is working above the water and not under the sea this is the back of his torso and it's just a continuation of the front side then we have this minifigure in the control room and he wears a red cap, a headset to speak to the divers, I guess. His face is a little bit frustrated and he wears this blue outfit. And this is the back of his torso. One thing I do not understand is that for this minifigure, there's no diving outfit. So when something goes wrong, he will drown. And then the last minifigure is this scientist and she has a nice face print with glasses, a photo camera, a small ponytail and this really nice torso with a lab jacket as a print. No printing on the legs and some more details on the back but also no outfit for her to survive underwater. Then the actual star of this video of course the exploration base it's split up in three sections around this round section with a giant propeller in the middle there are also some propellers over here you can remove all those sections really easy and they all have their own function so let's take a look at this one first so this is a small submarine the back is actually closed you can remove the roof and then you have some room in here what i do not really like is that you can't put this small submarine inside where you can if you want to but then you have to remove this propeller and then you can close the lid but it's just a little bit too big so you can use this space to store the swimming suits when the divers are inside the base you have a red tank on each side with another propeller a sticker of a hammerhead shark, a lot of headlights 
two of these arms with a hook attached on it so you can pick something up and of course this glass dome which is used for all these sets i guess from this wave i already reviewed the smallest one the juniors one quite some time ago and it had the same piece you can open this to reveal the minifig he has two joysticks to control this thing but i think when it's attached to the base he can also control this small one but you have to use your imagination of course then the second compartment also has a glass dome and two lights also a hook if we remove the roof you can already see it's the crew quarters there is this bed a coffee machine a mug and a lantern and this small table so i really like the pattern on the bed with these navy stripes and then the last one is the control room number one here we have our scientist and there is a chair inside some clockworks and a really nice fish tank on the desk with a green syringe it's just a sticker on a translucent brick but i really like the idea of this then if we turn the whole thing around there is this pressure room i think it's called so where the divers enter this part is actually open so there's no fort yellow compartment to attach and well it looks great from the front but i think it was really nice if they had something yellow here as well then attached to the middle compartment there is this red and black arm there's also a hook attached and attached to this hook there is this tray with two air tanks and the crate then there's also this miniature sub and i decorated it with these spare parts but it's supposed to look like this and it's radio controlled or something like that and a really good representation of the larger sub but just smaller there is this glass dome there's also a propeller on the back and you have these two arms which you can move in any direction actually so yeah i think this one looks really great then there is this shark in the set and it's a hammerhead shark that body piece isn't new but the head is and you can of course open his mouth then there's also this stingray and this one appears also in some other sets from this wave in the giant boat and in the poly bag but i haven't seen that poly bag here in the netherlands for me this was i think the cheapest way to get this animal and it's quite a simple shape but it's really nice with those blue dots on this collar then of course there's also some terrain beneath the base you have these black pillars or columns oh by the way there are also some red tubes on both sides but these pillars are placed on some sand so it's really the bottom of the sea and you can see there is a small red crab and the yellow one and some remainings of a bike a license plate <laughs> i think that's a really funny detail some of these beautiful coral pieces with some pink details and then on the other side you have this rock formation a green bottle and another one of those coral pieces and behind this rock there's actually a treasure chest with a lot of gems inside of course you're supposed to put one of each inside but they give you a spare part for all the colors so quite a nice treasure if you ask me i think overall this is a great set 
it's a great play set with a lot of features, a lot of minifigs, but I think it lacks some character compared to older ocean themes. You had those aqua raiders and the sharks and things like that. Maybe it's because this is a city set. It's a great set, but it's just a little bit plain or bland. So for now, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please give a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Doei!